हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज डॉक्टर अनिल आई होप एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग फाइन इफ यू हैव वॉच्ड माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव मेड टू वीडियोस अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर एंड क्लियर अर क्रैक एडिक पार्ट वन एंड ईडिया पार्ट वन दैट इज द पार्ट वन ऑफ यूरोपियन डिप्लोमा ऑफ इंटेंसिव केयर एंड ऑल्सो द पार्ट वन ऑफ यूरोपियन डिप्लोमा ऑफ अनस्थिजियोलॉजी इन इंटेंसिव केयर so in those videos i had already mentioned that if i uh, clear my primary frc mcq exam i would be making uh, one more video about how to prepare uh, for primary frc mcq i passed i my primary frc mcq exam uh, which i had given in the last month 18th of november i got 73% so i thought of making this video so that who are preparing for the primary frc mcq exam uh, will be you know getting benefited from this video so before actually talking about uh, how to prepare for the exam or how much time is required i want to tell few points about primary frc mcq how uh, regarding how it is different from the edac exam okay see most of us who are working in india or anywhere other than uk so most of us will give edac exams okay the number of candidates who appear for the frc exam is uh, relatively lesser uh that i found is mainly because of two reasons one is uh, if primary frc is a hard exam everybody know that frc is definitely comparatively is uh, much more difficult when compared to edac and second thing is uh, we don't have idea about how to go you know how to go for it how to prepare for the exams okay you when when i thought of giving primary frc exam about like one year back when i was like clueless you know i was contacting so many people who are working in uk I was trying to contact them and I was asking them how to prepare. So luckily, uh, one madam uh, from the Telegram group was uh, now she is in UK. So she actually uh, came back to me and she helped me about you know about the preparation and all. So that's why I thought of making the video so that people who really want to uh, take this exam, who really want to clear and go to UK, will be getting benefited from this. So that is the main purpose of making this video. so the differences are see the ediac part 1 exam as, uh, as you know uh, it is offline as of now it is an offline exam uh, there are centers in india you have to go to the centers and then you have to take the exam but primary frc mcq exam is online exam you can take it from your home only with a strong wifi connection and with a you know web camera they will monitor you constantly through the web camera you can take the exam the second thing is you can write your ediac exam you can sit for the ediac exam during your residency only okay during your second or third year of md or dnb you can give ediac exam one year of your uh, training in anesthesia is enough to give the ediac exam but primary frc mcq you cannot give during residency you have to pass md or dnb then only you can sit for primary frc mcq the third is if you are non uk anesthetist okay any part of the world other than uk you cannot sit for primary frc mcq exam uh, without obtaining something called tee okay tee is temporary examination eligibility which is uh, offered by royal college of anesthetists for the non uk anesthetist okay so they will give that number and that number only after getting that number you can register for the uh, register for the primary frc exams okay the application for the tee actually uh, usually it starts from the august if i am not wrong and it will be the duration of the application will be like one month okay you can apply for a period of one month and at the end of one month or two months in another two months you will get the tee number once you get the tee number then only you can uh, register for the primary frc mcq exams without that you cannot register and the fees for the tee uh, application is around 10000 in indian rupees okay not too much and the te will be valid for a one year once you get the te number you can appear any number of exams which comes in that year usually three uh, mcq exams will come in a year so you can appear all the three exams if you are not successful in the first or second attempt like that but after one year the te what you have got that will lapse again you have to uh, get a uh, apply for te number again after a year okay so that's how it works so i think i am clear about it so then how to prepare and how to you know uh, start with is uh, see there are a lot of books again there are a lot of uh, online platforms mcq platforms are recommended a lot of theory books mcq books are recommended by the college also and by many telegram groups also as i mentioned in the ediac video also but i will just tell what i did okay uh, because i will not be talking 
I should not be talking about the things which I have not done, right? So, don't worry. Even what I did, okay. If people who are really writing for the exams, if they do what I did also, definitely I'm sure that will definitely pass. Because I am also, I was also an average student during MD. Okay, even I studied like a, any other average student during MD. I was not, uh, you know, studying in very depth or you know very standard books or you know like that nothing. So. just like tell you what i did for the exam i think that is enough to pass even to score good also because i scored 73 but the thing is whatever you do revise it uh, two to three times okay uh, read it thoroughly so that it will help you okay because frc exam is really hard okay i've given both edi and frc i could definitely say frc exam is really hard after giving a exam uh, i was like i was not uh, getting the so many questions actually is still today also i don't understand few three four questions what they asked so that is a difficulty level but if you are good at your basic concepts physiology pharmacology physics okay stats and basic concepts are good and if you don't do any silly mistakes in the topics you have read well uh, then i think you will definitely pass you need not get complete marks you know total marks are you need not uh, correct all the questions what they have given that is not definitely not possible okay definitely they will ask a tricky and difficulty questions but you should not do silly mistakes and you should uh, average type of questions you should not go wrong okay so what i did it uh, strictly i followed uh, three sources 3 plus 1 actually so 3 plus 1 what i did so first thing is mt of 1000 mt of 1000 helped me a lot okay and the second is cubase 6 the third is bmj on examination fourth is e learning platform okay so cubase 1000 everybody know that's an mcq book which has 1000 mcqs mtf pattern so do it cubase uh, sorry mtf 1000 book okay then we have a cubase 6 cubase 6 again has a uh, mcq mtf type of mcq questions uh, you do that bmj is an online mcq app which you have to subscribe by paying uh it has about 1400 mcqs with a very good descriptions explanations are very well updated uh to be frank this bmj helped me a lot for the uh, primary for say mcq okay please don't miss that bmj examination is very helpful the next one is e learning e learning is a platform again where they have some uh, videos they have uh, explained the theory part also and they have given a lot of mcqs covering all the you know basic sciences and pharmacology physiology everything uh, it is uh, recommended by the college itself once you register for the primary frc mcq exam the college will confirm the uh, registration through mail and in that mail itself they will send the link to the e learning uh, platform that e learning.com so you have to pay for non uk anesthetist you have to register and you have to pay for it for a uk people the the doctors who are working in uk anesthetists working in uk they can freely access to that but we can't so you pay and uh, subscribe it and do the e learning helps two three questions or directly they had come from e learning the exam okay so mtf 1000 cubase 6 bmj on examination e learning if you do these four thoroughly if you revise it two to three times before the exam and if you don't do any silly mistakes if you avoid silly mistakes if you remain calm 200% you will definitely get through primary frc mcq okay it is doable it is possible okay so uh, good luck guys prepare well okay and if you have any doubts regarding the exams or regarding anything about the read, what to read how to read and everything you can uh, uh, any uh, any time put in the comment section i will definitely get back to you when i get time okay and uh, if you find this you know, video is useful or helping you please like comment subscribe i will be starting my preparation very soon for adiac part 2 and also primary uh, frc oski so i will be making a uh, next videos if i get through all those exams definitely and uh, wish you all the best keep up the hard work i think i covered everything and the links for all the uh, sources or resources what i told that will be given in the description you can follow the link from there uh, i think i covered everything there is nothing more to tell uh, the what all the things to be read the time how much time is required depends on the personal this thing okay i actually took gap from work for one month because i uh, resigned from my uh, previous job and before 
joining to the next one i took one month gap and i studied for uh, for same cq so so it depends you know how many hours you study i could in that period i could study like eight to nine hours a day if you're working and studying then i think you can study only four four or five hours maximum then you may require more time so it depends upon your individual you know how much time you are getting what's your work pattern and everything so that is difficult to comment but the sources what i told i think that would be okay that should be okay to pass the exam so do it best of luck and thank you thank you very much